From the filmmaker who brought us comedy drama Lekki Wives, as well as Two Brides and a Baby, comes a new movie that focuses on women again. Let's see Nollywood's Blessing Egbe as she prepares to release a new film. Take a look. So I'm calling because of my 40th birthday party on Saturday. Following impressive reviews of her old works, including the psychedelic Lekki Wives and the comic Two Brides and a Baby, Nollywood emerging filmmaker Blessing Egbe is taking a big step forward as her new movie, The Women, is scheduled for cinema release. Hey. Oh. I'm coming, let me go and cheat. The movie follows narratives of feminine rivalry that besiege four friends and what was supposed to be a fun getaway. The movie The Women, oh, it's about um, four women, very, very malicious bunch. I always like to add that. Um, they set out on a journey with their husbands to a resort in Lagos um, to celebrate uh, the 40th birthday of one of them. So on getting to the resort, everything that was planned to happen that day it was supposed to be a sleepover, you know, nice uh, couple's dinner and everything just went wrong. Everything crumbled. Everything, abs everything that would go wrong went wrong because of the, the, the woman factor, I like to call it. Um, women generally are very complicated. Women always, always, you know, sort of have at the back of their, their minds, uh, you know, like, a, a do, um, like, like some kind of do me, I do you scenario. Um, you, you know, I would retaliate or I have, I have your secret, I'll keep it for the time that, that is best for me to strike. And that's what, um, that, that was a subject matter for, for, for the women. Starring the usual suspect, Amonio Boli, Ufoma McDermott, Kate Henshaw and Catherine Obiang in lead is inspired by a real life experience. You know how I feel about lying. I don't tolerate it. Believe me, if this had happened when we were courting, I would never have married you. The story came from truth. Because I always tell stories that matter, stories that are true to, to us, stories that people can relate to, stories that happen. So this was another 100% truth, okay? So um, it, it, it did happen. <laughs> and I was very careful in, in the casting not to sort of give too much away. But um, if, if you would notice the actors, okay, I'm not going to say too much. But yes, it's a true story that I had to tell. Unbelievable. You two are unbelievable. Uh, so if we are going to spend one week, you will carry the entire house. Telling stories about some of the baggage of womanhood sometimes exposes her to backlashes from women who feel she's betraying the feminine gender. Oh no, I'm not betraying the female hood because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, um, I'm also a woman. I mean, with lucky wives, I had a lot of backlash from women. I, I remember I went to Ikota once and um, I remember I went to Ikota once and two women accosted me. You know, like, what do you think you are? You think, well, you know, why are you telling such stories? And I said, ah, ah, you know, I'm telling stories. Me too, I did inside though. And that was how I sort of um, toned down the matter. So with this, I don't think I am giving away anything. I'm just simply saying, be truthful to yourself. Be truthful to your marriage. Be truthful. The man will love me more though. Are your gift to Caesar what belongs to Caesar? Oh? <laughs> eh? Are you not be so we've been planning more? That's not how we planned it. In fact, that's not what I heard about Yoruba men. I I also find that a lot of women do have secrets in their cupboard. Most husbands don't know the wives they are married to. I can tell you that for sure. Most men think they have, you know, sweet, uh, some beautiful, sweet woman at home. Oh no, women, women come with a whole lot of baggage. And for me, it was about telling the story and wanting people to know that, come on, it's, you know, just say the truth. Just tell it the way it is. You know, he loves you anyway, so he'll, he'll, he'll love you no, no matter what. And if he doesn't love you, if he finds out certain things about you, then maybe he doesn't really love you. So, you know, it's about just coming out and dusting the closet, cleaning up the closet, and just being truthful to, to oneself. 
Hello, pretty lady. It appears my husband likes you. Why do you take your silly games to someone who is interested? Although she doesn't feel any form of pressure being a female director in a male-dominated industry at the moment, she remembered that it wasn't all smooth at the beginning. Because I remember when I, I, I wanted to do um, a movie and I approached um, a director, um, a male director, and I said, oh, okay, I want you to be my assistant director because I want to direct. He just looked at me and laughed and like, no, you can't, you know, I will direct and you be my assistant director. But, you know, maybe it came from a place of um, learn because you are new. I don't want to think it's because, you know, I'm, I'm female, but, you know, I hear from other uh, women directors how, you know, people don't tend to respect them enough. Uh, because they are female and I say well nobody can do that with me because for me it's all about the job like um, when 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 your crew members and your actors see that you can lead them if they see that you know your craft if they see they can trust you and then why not you know regardless um, whether you're a woman or a man what in friends of mine and we want to make an impression I just bought one cheap dress for 250,000 what 250k there is no need to lie. It is my 40th birthday party. It is a big deal. Happy birthday to you. The women hit the cinemas later this year. Honey, I got him locked down in this pitch black pit.